Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another week of The Lockup. I'm your host, Jun- Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, you were going to do it, do it. <laughs> I'm your host, Junior Ruiz, alongside my co-host from the Spinner Rack. Brian Adams. You sound so enthusiastic. Yeah, I'm Brian. Did I? I'm sorry. I said Brian Adams. Yeah, because they can see you go like that. That's true, that. So I'm be like, Brian Adams! Ha! Is that more enthusiasm for you? Well, yeah, because, I mean, it sounds like you're coming down to the ring to fight now. Does it? Introducing Brian Adams. Yeah, yeah, Brian Adams. Like, you just cut this really crazy promo. It's like, let me tell you something, brother. No, don't tell me anything. He's said enough lately. Moving forward here, starting our show. Not you, him. Episode 21. Right. Okay, I wasn't sure if you then. I was just, you know. I don't even remember if I said it. Anyways, so a lot of stuff going on. Um, Can I cut you off for a second before you start? I suppose you has, already did. Has he said something? No. Recently? Meant, in the past? Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, a lot of little news bits this week. You know, not a, not a lot of big news. Um, well, you know, I'm just going to jump right into it. The storyline with Lana, Dolph Ziggler, Rusev, and Summer Rae, that's pretty much dead in the water. Right? Especially thanks to Twitter. Yeah, thanks to Twitter. I mean, yeah, right? Or was it TMZ? T- no, yeah, you're right. It was, it was TMZ. Because uh, they posted it on their social media that, uh, you know, L- Rusev and Lana are engaged. So, because uh, in real life, they are a couple. Um, so, yeah. But Lana posted a photo on Instagram a couple days ago where uh, she's pretty much saying, you know, I'm injured, but I'm not do- not doing anything. She's writing scripts for television movies she's reading scripts and the one that really caught my eye was she's writing a script and she's looking to collaborate with comic book artists and writers to help her get this script out so lana's writing comic books man that's cool that's pretty cool it's way cooler than cm punk writing comic books word but the, yeah it was what a shocking way to like kill that storyline man yeah Hey, we're engaged. And at the same time, kind of make uh, uh, Ziggler look like a like a Lothario type of character now, you know, a swinger, if you will. Right. Which, speaking of which, when we had talked a, an episode or two ago about Total Divas and the season finale and him and Nikki, how funny is it that he's kind of fought yeah. with uh, Cena now? Yeah, I, w- I was at that Monday Night Raw. Yeah, last I know. Monday. Um, yeah, it was funny, and Nikki said on a tweet that watching that match was awkward. So, whatever that means. But speaking of awkward relationships, um, WWE, WWE has now a working relationship with ESPN. Did you hear about that? I did. Yeah, so now ESPN is going to be covering some WWE stuff here and there. Um, what do you think about that? How does, I mean, because ESPN is known for, you know. It's sports network. It's it's legit legit sports. sports, You know, where wrestling is, you know, sports entertainment. Um, Or at least where the WWE is concerned. Right. Uh, So how do you have your, you know, ESPN's lost a lot of money. They've lost a lot of viewers lately over the last uh, year or so. Mm -hmm. How do you go, like expect to get these viewers back if you're going to sit there and put something like sports entertainment on your show now is it something that's going to be brought mentioned like on sports center you know like the cubs are in the playoffs you know the blackhawks won this game you know they're gross rock gross they're hell of a cell yeah Yeah, you know and they're like wait what so Um, i don't know it's a little weird i i know jonathan coachman probably had his hand in it a lot being that he worked for the previous company, if so. it's uh, if they're smart, they could just do it as like a highlight show, and talk about. So you think it should be its own separate show? Yeah, I, I feel like if anything, like to to bring it into Sports Center, it, it does for me that doesn't fit. You know, it would really have to be its like own show where they could talk about like wrestling like once every week or so. You know, right? Sorry, I got Reese's pieces here, people. Brian does not hesitate to get some either. I don't know. Anyway. I'm a fat kid. <laughs> um, so, speaking of wrestling, obviously, because that's what we do here. Mm-hmm. Record low ratings for Raw and SmackDown. Really? Yes. Well, you know. In my, in my Mr. Mackey voice. Why do you suppose that is? Okay, well, well, let me tell you. 
It's because I'm the son of the devil? Um, <laughs> I really think it's lack of creative, man. Oh, yeah. That is that is what it is. People That's are bored. Absolutely you know? what it People is. People are bored. Um, when you're seeing this Bray Wyatt Roman thing, Roman Reigns thing, like, it's honestly the same issue that wrestling has suffered from, specifically WWE, for years. It's they get a, they get on something and they pound, 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 pound. So you just don't care about it anymore. Like, I really hope that when we get to Hell in the Cell, that this whole feud is with Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt is done. I hope so. You know, that, that's what need, they're hyping it as. We need something, something else, you know? Um, how many more times are we going to have to see Neville versus King Barrett or Stardust? Right. You know, um, how many more times are we going to have to see the Dudley Boys versus the New Day? Nice. Three, he just did the, the 3D thing. So. Yeah. Um, no, I agree. Uh, one of the things also that people are saying is, you know, NXT is outperforming the main roster. My views on that are, it, it's like this. NXT is fresh. Mm -hmm. It's full of faces we haven't been exposed to. Mm -hmm. Week in, week out, week in, week out for the last couple of years. John Cena, I'm looking at you. And it's not storyline heavy. No, it's not. And the reasoning for that is, A, it's only an hour long show. Mm -hmm. And B, there's not as many cooks in the kitchen. There's yeah. Triple H and maybe, what, two or three writers mm -hmm. at most. Whereas Raw and SmackDown, Vince, Stephanie, Triple H, <laughs> and, and then and like a whole, whole, room, yeah. whole room of writers, you know, who are, are scared... To sit there and be like, no, Vince, I think that's a stupid idea. Whereas with NXT, I'm sure they can say, you know what, Hunter, that might not work. What if we try this? You know? Um, so I honestly think they need to take a page out of what NXT is doing. Um, also, at the same note, I like having a lot of wrestling per week, but I do think Raw maybe should, could do a little bit better if they go back to two hours. Yeah, no, I totally think so. You know, uh, and, uh, you know, and as we're on it, another thing, why do we need to see the same faces? on multiple segments throughout the show. Why does Seth Rollins need to open the show, be on the show like every other um, segment, end the show in the main event? That's mm -hmm. too much. They're not They're not using the wealth of talent on that roster to the best. They're not they, using they half of them, period. They're, they're not. You know, it must be good to be The Miz or Damian Sandow right now or Zack Ryder or, you know, Adam Rose, who we'll get to in a minute. Um, you know, guys like this who don't appear very often, and this is like, hey, I'm getting this check, and I've got to do five minutes of work a week. Right? Like, and, and you know, when they were talking about, like, uh, there was all that speculation, was WWE, um, the network a bad idea at only $10 a month, you know, they're going to lose all this money. I think no. As a fan, I think no. I think it's, I love the As network. a fan, the network's a great thing. What's a bad thing for them is you've got all these people that you're not using. So if you're seeing a ratings drop, like go go back to old school man the way it was. Like you didn't see when you saw guys, you saw them for their segment and that was it. They didn't show three or three times. And stop freaking rehashing what we just saw five minutes ago for five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, right before the commercial break and they show you the exact like same the thing. Like the whole thing. Yep. Or it's like, oh, here's here's twenty minutes of what happened last week that you already saw twice because you saw it last week on Raw and then we replayed it twenty minutes on SmackDown. Right. It's like, give us some fresh material, man. Get some more stuff out there. Commentators, too. That's a big factor. Yeah. There is no color and no play-by-play -play anymore. It's just like they're all straddling that, that line. You know, there's a lot of stuff that can change. A lot of stuff. Speaking of change, Hulk Hogan's Beach Shop. The restaurant yeah. rebranding to have nothing to do with Hulk Hogan's name. Really? And they said it has nothing to do with the current Hogan troubles, it's just that they license Hulk Hogan's name and the contract is expiring soon. Ah. So they're just, they're going to phase it out little by little. It's not going to just be, today it's Hulk Hogan's Beach Restaurant, tomorrow it's not. It's slowly going to happen. So, interesting on that. But uh, thinking, speaking of things changing, Davy Boy Smith Jr. has legally obtained the rights to the name The British Bulldog. Oh, really? So now he goes by... The British Bulldog, Davy Smith Jr. Wow. Yep. Doesn't he wrestle in, uh, where's he at? I, he's in, doing the indies. He's in indies? Yeah. For some reason, I thought I saw Davy Smith in Ring of Honor. But maybe I'm mistaken. 
I don't think it's the same one. Yeah, probably not. I know who you're talking about. Um, your boy, Adam Rose. Yes. Suffered a possible concussion on Friday's uh, house show. Oh, man, that's a bummer. Yeah, he said after a kick, he uh, they, they immediately called the uh, stretchers to the ring and stuff like that and wheeled him out. So it's not like we saw him on TV much anyway. I saw him. He was on Superstars. Not that I watched Superstars, but Superstars was taped prior to the Monday Night Raw that I went to. And he came out and he fought Jack Swagger, um, which was actually a really good match. And that's another guy you don't see very often. Yeah, hey, Jack Swagger. Not much of Swagger. It's, well, it's just they don't. Can you imagine if Zeb Coulter came back right now and he teamed up with Swagger and they could just bomb so bad on the Donald Trump stuff? That was a missed opportunity. Yeah. No. Absolutely. You know. But uh, whatever. Uh, Adam, you know Ray Lapon. Yeah. Adam Rose. The missed opportunity with him is man, Leo Kruger. I don't know why they felt See, creatively why, that they needed to rebrand him. Right, or they could have even just, because I remember a couple months ago he was campaigning to bring the Leo Kruger character back. Why not just have him continue to be Adam Rose as, in name with the Leo Kruger persona? You yeah, know what I why mean? not? Just to save the confusion of the name change. Because now you've, pretty much everything that you've built Adam Rose to be, you've now destroyed upon his one appearance in NXT. Where the party's over, you know. Yeah, the party it's... pooper. <sighs> Come on. So, you're a gamer. Yeah. Have you had a chance to play that WWE Immortals game? Uh, you know. Where it looks like Mortal Kombat. No, you know what the problem is? Is, I, I, for some reason, it will not work on my on my Android tablet. Really? It downloads, it plays the intro, but it won't play the game. You know who they just added? Who? Johnny Cage. Really? Yep. Johnny Cage is now a member of the WWE Mortals video game. Speaking of being a member, Undertaker, right now they're doing their Mexico tour in the WWE. And uh, during uh, one of the house show matches this past weekend, during his match, it was a tag match. It was him and Kane, Brothers of Destruction, Mm -hmm. versus Braun Strowman and Luke Harper. Wow. Yeah. Um, They said mid-match, Taker, like when it was one of those situations where Taker had a moment, Rolled out of the ring, walked the ringside, and grabbed the beer from the fan and chugged it stone cold style. Nice. So, and then went back to, after he drank the beer, went back in the ring, went back to business. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, you know. That's awesome. For because Undertaker is the ultimate company man, you know, in terms of loyalty, not including John Cena, but just Undertaker's the end all be all of that locker room. Let's face it. You know, John Cena may run stuff on a week-in, week-out basis, but when Undertaker shows up, Cena takes the back seat. And for Taker to break character like that and just chug a beer, that's pretty cool. Yeah, totally. Um, And uh, last thing I have before we get to our Hell in a Cell picks, um, they're talking about next May possibly putting out a Best of Shane McMahon DVD. Really? Yeah. Shane O'Mac going to get some O'Mac. props. Shane um, But they said it right now it's pending on whether he decides he wants to actually participate on the DVD. And they said that they're also planning a Best of the United States Championship DVD set for May. So they may uh, actually just cancel the Shane release altogether and focus on the U.S. one. Dude, I, like I understand Here the comes need the money. to want to be your own man. Shane McMahon needs to come back. Yeah, oh yeah. Like... I feel like there was there could be so much done for WWE as a company for him to return, and especially with the impending possible Ross man Ross SmackDown branding happening again. Speaking of Jerry Lawler, was uh, was it? I think it was at New York Comic Con he was at just recently, um, where he was asking a fan or him and a fan were talking, and Lawler said that in 2016 SmackDown's going to go through a lot of big changes, possibly even going live. Which is something we speculated right. on a while back. So uh, what better way than to get Shane, o- Shane McMahon back into the fold and have each sibling running a show competing against each other? That'd be great. Or hell, if the rumors with the TNA stuff, why not have another invasion where Shane buys TNA? Yeah, you something? know, speaking of TNA... At this point, I'll like, watch it. I don't even know what the, the hell they're doing down there. They're not doing anything right now. Their last right. show was the week after Bound for Glory, and it was just like a, a no. It's still on. Show. It was on. It was on last week. Was it a new episode? Yeah. Oh, I know they're doing a tour in India. Is they're that where they doing are? like uh, no. 
they're doing a quote unquote uh, 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 like a, a championship tournament. Uh, like basically at the end of Bound for Glory, their heavyweight championship match, it was um, Jeff or Matt Hardy, EC3, and uh, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. And it ended up that Matt Hardy. Or pinned, Galloway, whatever his name is. Galloway, yeah, it's Galloway. Matt Hardy ended up pinning Drew Galloway and winning the title. Right. EC3 filed some injunction with the That's lawyer. That's right. That's right. And was going to hold up the title to where, you know, they wouldn't be able to do anything with it. And there's this weird little mini press conference with where Dixie Matt Hardy, Carty. Matt Hardy gives up yeah. the belt. Yeah. And, and Dixie Carter was there and uh, Smashing Pumpkins, uh, what's his face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so they're doing this weird tournament thing, which is, I feel like they have set up this weird tournament bracket that doesn't really make sense because it's like groups of four wrestlers and they're competing for points and then it doesn't really make any sense to me like how it works well it's not the dusty Rhodes tag team classic yeah which didn't yeah that was pretty good it was all right there was you know who one of my new favorite tag teams is who jordan and gable those those guys are talented tell me that didn't remind you of Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas, the world's greatest tag team. Yeah, you know, I didn't. I was not watching wrestling at the time. Those guys, man. Like, no, but th- I liked them. Those guys, those guys are talented. That's all I saw. I was but, like, Dude, uh, that's them. I feel like TNA. It's they're taking like matches that were recorded and never used, and using them to build up this fake tournament thing. That's funny. And then they're sitting the guys down, like for like there's a, a, a commentator. And then the four guys that are in the category. Because they have different categories. It's really confusing. It's hard to understand. And it's obvious that that is a sinking ship. Word. Speak, speaking of sinking... This it it show's all about segues today. I've noticed that. Sinking ships. Things that come to an end. Hopefully all these beefs that come to an end at Hell in a Cell. As we yeah. go into our Hell in a Cell picks. Totally. So Brian's pulling up the uh, the match card right now, and while he does that, I'm gonna go ahead and say, don't forget to watch all our past episodes and listen. Comicsremix.com. The website is all now up and live. Read our blogs. Um, check out remixed reviews, all that good stuff. Are you ready? I'm ready, sir. We're back to it. Commercial over. So as of this moment, um, not barring any changes that could possibly happen tonight. Or before the week's out and we get to next Sunday. Right. And the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Um, right now, you've got uh, pre-show. Dean Ambrose and Randy Orton versus Braun Strowman and Luke Harper. That's a pre-show match? Pre-show. That makes no sense with the popularity that Dean Ambrose has right now. I mean, now. according to this, it's a pre-show match. Yeah. that You know what would be a pre-show match to me? Is you team up Neville Sheamus with somebody. Sheamus versus anybody. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> or you put Neville with someone. Sheamus versus And his they briefcase. face, you know, Barrett and Stardust. Which I don't... I don't understand what the hell they're doing with him. And the Ascension. Right. I don't think he understands what they're doing with like him. I, the Ascension. I don't know. But yeah, that seems like a bigger match to me. Oh, yeah. Like, Ambrose is on fire. Yeah. Like, I feel like they could give the title Ambrose and he could probably carry it for a while. That's... Easily, I mean, that's beginning of the card. I don't say first match, but it's it's somewhere in the beginning of the card. Maybe mid-card. Yeah. But definitely not. But definitely a, uh, not pre-show. No. What else we got? And well, for that, I'm going like, to go, obviously, um, with the momentum that they're going right now, I'm just going to have to go Luke Harper, Braun Strowman. Because it's not going to make sense for them to take down Braun Strowman yeah, in a no. pre-show. You know what, man? I've I, Honestly, now I'm going to try and find this on a different website because... I'm not buying the listing of these matches. Uh, it just doesn't seem zone. right to me. Because um, they have they have Undertaker and and uh, Brock like immediately first match. I don't think it's listed in order. That's that can't be. No, they've got the where I good old Wikipedia. I don't know why I went to Wikipedia, but it's got match numbers. That's weird. Which it makes no sense because they've got the seventh match. They've got the lead match of the card being the Intercontinental match. And you know that's not right. Right. So that's just wrong. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me for them to 
You know, why why bury the Wyatt family when you're just bringing them back up? Yeah. Um, and Orton and Ambrose are still two characters that they could take a loss right now. It's not going to mean anything. Yeah, totally. Especially with Randy, you know, his very part-time schedule at the moment. And Dean Ambrose, like you just said, being on fire. That there's no point. that They could take the loss. And yeah, it won't absolutely. mean anything. Because I think when Braun Strowman does go down, it's gonna be, they're going to make it into a big deal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know? Because he's gone up against all these guys already, and they haven't even been able to take him off his feet, you know? So for them to put him... Nah. So I don't think that's a pre-show match. That can't be a pre-show match. Yeah, it can't be a pre-show match, because their their pre-show matches have been so, like, just, ugh, you know? I almost want to say that the IC title is the pre-show match, because I remember hearing about that and being frustrated. That seems like a mistake to me, too. Um... Nothing. Nothing. They've got nothing. Hold on, people. We're searching here. We should have been more prepared. Yeah, it, it, my my bad for trusting you know Wikipedia to have it right. Bad I mean, stitches. I have match lists. I just don't have them in the threat. Duh. Found them. Yeah. Did you? Yep. You know where I went? Where? WWE.com. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so in in no specific order, we got. The WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Seth Rollins versus Demon Kane. What do you think? Um, you know what? I expect that to be end card, probably. Um, I remember the stipulation. Undertaker Brock Lesnar will be the match. I feel like will be the main event. I hope so. It should be. This match will probably help before that. What is the stipulation, by the way? If Demon, oh, if Kane, leaves, if if Demon Kane, loses Kane his cannot job. defeat the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, then Corporate Kane will be relieved of his duties as Director of Operations. Well, that, that's obviously what's going to happen. Right. I mean, why... Matches like that, though, they bother me because it's a given that you know Rollins is going to keep the belt. Yeah, it's... It's, uh, it's just... I don't even like... The purpose of that just doesn't... Just to get Kane out of the position you know, he's in. Uh, deep, so who are you going with? Rollins, right? Oh, obviously, Rollins? Okay. yeah. So we got the WWE Divas Championship match. Charlotte versus Nikki Bella. What do you got? I, um, you know, I'd like to see Nikki Bella get it back because it will add more, uh, it, it, I, I just it would serve well for her to get the title back. Okay. It her reign would mean more to me if she got it back again. I think they should somehow find a way to insert Paige into this. Plus, I think Charlotte's a little too. She's still too green. Like she's too like same thing with Paige. They Paige should not have got that belt her first night out there. No, I think she was alright getting it her first night, and I'm not just saying that because I think she's beautiful. I just think that it served her character well and it was a great launching platform. Yeah, but I mean, it didn't make Paige. I mean, didn't it make AJ Lee look like a weak champion, though. No, I, not in my opinion. No, no. Okay. Uh, so I could see, I could see Nikki Bella getting it due to Paige interference. So you go with Nikki. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say Charlotte retains. Uh, WWE Tag Team Championship match: The New Day versus the Dudley Boys. Is this where the Dudleys finally uh, pick it up, or do you think they're gonna continue this a little bit more? You know. Because of the way WWE seems to run things lately, I wouldn't surprise if they run this feud into the ground. You mean it's not yet? Um, well, yeah, but yeah, it is. Um, when's when's Hall of Fame around WrestleMania, right? Yeah, the day before or the night before. Do you think this is? Do you, oh wait, so the Dudleys are on full time. Yeah. So they won't be in the Hall. Of, they won't be inductees next year. No. They probably won't be inductees for a few years. Yeah, they got a few so years. So all they need to do contract. is get it at some point. So they could run this into the ground as long as they want. Right. Um, but at what point do they start to lose steam? And not just them losing steam, but the New Day, you know? Well, it's the, the New Day is so hot right now that it, for me this rivalry has lost steam, but apparently for the fans it hasn't. Right. So, I mean, it could go either way. I mean, I would like to see. Well, of course, it can go either way, but the point. Yeah, the, the I know. Point of this is to pick who go, who wins. I want the Dudleys to get the titles from time to time. Do I think they will? I'm unsure. 
So I'm just going to pick the Dudleys, but... I'm going to say New Day retains. It's anybody's ballgame. Uh, next match. Intercontinental Championship match. Kevin Owens versus Ryback. That's yeah, Kevin Owens. <laughs> Well, I hope what's so. what's the point of giving Kevin Owens the title just to take it from him again? I did like Ryback with the belt, though. No, I do. I like Ryback was a great Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, but I think uh, no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm well, not, not that great. Far. I mean, for the time, for right now, he's was good. Right. Yeah, but no, I, I agree. Kevin Owens retains. It, I'm sorry. The Intercontinental Championship was great for Ryback. There you go. Let me clear clarify what I really meant. Uh, so Wikipedia was actually correct. It is the kickoff match. Randy Orton and Ambro, Dean Ambrose, Ambrose versus uh, Luke Harper and Braun Strowman in a Hell in a Cell kickoff match. That's terrible. And we already said that uh, we believe the Wyatts will retain. Yeah. Or they'll hold. Win. Whatever. Yeah, the, uh, the Wyatts hold. Yeah, they Hell in a Cell match. The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar is the last one, man. Who goes over on this one? If they're not going to try and push this... Further, which no, they can't. This is done. This is it. I think this is their final. I, it's it's got to be Brock. Yeah, I have to. Because otherwise, you're just burying him. I agree. And then does Brock turn his attention back to Seth Rollins, or do we get something else that happens that takes Brock's attention later? Um. Yeah, I, I say Brock. There, yeah. There's no point in. Uh, it's obviously Brock, and they obviously have to get back to that the feud of him. And there's unfinished business between Rollins and Lesnar. And at some point, it has to be, you know, it, it, it's it's got to be wrapped up. Right. Or continued something. they got to get back to it. So, final match on this card so far announced. Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt in a Hell in a Cell match. So, we have two Hell in a Cell matches. This yeah. Who are you going with? They're judging this is the final fight, the fight to the finish. So, who goes over? Does Reigns go over or does Wyatt go over? And does does either one going over hurt the other one? You know, they're both at such a stale point right now. I don't think it would hurt either one. I think with the momentum they've built with uh, with the Wyatts, it would be good to put the new face of fear over. I agree. Because, I mean, it's not going to... like. Winning or losing this match won't change anything for Roman Reigns. I was just going to say the same thing. But it will change everything for Bray Wyatt. Oh, I agree. You know, if Bray Wyatt loses, I feel like it it buries him a little bit. Yeah. But if Roman Reigns loses, it doesn't do anything, you know? Yeah, because so. even if he wins, nobody's going to give a damn. Yeah. That's all I got for this week, man. Like well, I said, not, a lot that's, of that's our, uh, short episode. We got our picks out of the way, our small news bits out of the way. I got my plugs in earlier. If you don't remember, it's comicsremix.com. Check out all our blogs, uh, videos, audio podcasts. Check us out on social media, Twitter, at Comics Remixed, at The Spinner Rack, Instagram, at Shylon, Shy Town Cylon. Um, you know, obviously our YouTube channel. You're, you're what? making up new words there. Um, no, 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 never. So don't, rub, don't rub that off on me now. No. So... Uh, <laughs> Next week, um, in honor of Halloween, will be our Halloween-themed uh, episode, so make sure you check into that. Where we'll be talking about uh, the best Halloween-slash-costume the wrestlers that, you know, exist to our liking, or whatever. Right. I don't know how to phrase that. Whatever. We're gonna just going to talk about some some good, spooky, scary... Characterizations. Right. Right. So that's right. all we got for this. Yeah, right. Right. All right. Brian ain't got nothing to drink in his house. Right. <laughs> we'll see you guys next There's week. There's a 7-Eleven down the street. See y'all next week.